guys, uh, it's PLX Outdoors. This is Banksy again with uh, episode 33 today. And uh, today is Saturday, the 19th of March, 2022. Just wanted to go over a quick video of the uh, Albright knot for braid to fluoro or mono. Basically, uh, save your money. Uh, I always back up my reels with braid for about 90% of my rods and then just always do uh, fluoro uh, leader. So basically, uh, connecting your floral or mono to your braid, I always use the Albright knot. Uh, it's quick, it's easy, but also it's sturdy and strong when you're fighting the fish, just as compared to the other knots that are on uh, the internet here. Uh, basically, it's just a lot faster and a lot easier to tie. And so that's why I always go with Albright knot. So give it a shot and uh, make sure you wet your knots. I think you guys will really enjoy this. Uh, very easy, very simple, and... Uh, not time consuming like some of the other complicated knots and here i'll go ahead and jump into a short video of how i go ahead and tie the uh, albright knot okay guys i'm going to quickly show you guys how to do a uh, albright knot with uh, mono or fluorocarbon to braid and basically joining two lines making sure that it's tough sensitive but also strong enough to hold up to the fish when you catch them so first thing you'll do is make a loop with the fluoro or mono and pinch it there like so. Take your braid, run it under and over the loop like so. And then now you're gonna to wanna to take your braid, give about six inches or so of room, like so. You're gonna take your braid and wrap it under and over both of these lines of the floral or mono. So I'm gonna keep my left hand over here pinched on the floral or mono. I'm going to take my braid here start wrapping it around my loop so one two three four five six seven eight coming up so now we have that so if you take a look at it you'll see that right there there you go and eight wraps is about the Sweet spot for me, if you have a, a lighter liter mono or fluoro, like a four pound or six pound liter, you'll probably wanna wrap it about 10 to 10 times, 10 to 12, just because it's easier or harder to grab on a smaller diameter line. So right now I'm using 10 pound fluoro and 15 pound uh, braid. So about eight wraps is about good for me from what I've uh, experienced. So you're gonna wanna take your braid tag in here and go back through this little loop right here. And that's what's going to cause it to bite and also grab onto the line. So there we have it just like so. So basically this is wrapping your braid around your uh, floral or mono. And it's going to just keep pulling tighter and tighter as you pull or the, the knot pulls on itself. So all you have to do now is pull your double braid tag in and also your double floral tag in. And I'll do it dry without wetting it so you can kind of see how the knot comes together. And you can see it's pulling on itself. And all you have to do is just keep pulling and it'll just get tighter and tighter. Now if you see the knot is not getting close enough like so, like so here, you'll want to take your thumbnails and just push the knot together. And then just slowly keep pulling it. And then you'll see that it actually is getting smaller and smaller in size. And then to test the knot, when you release the two tag ends, you'll take your two main lines and then slowly pull. And it should just stay snug, like so. I'm pulling pretty hard right now, and it's not moving. Now if this slips and the knot moves left or right, and it comes to, it comes to fall apart, you'll know that you did the knot incorrectly. And so you'll just have to go back through, and when you insert your braided line back into the loop, you'll want to make sure it's going opposite this way, uh, where you put it in this way, in the original loop. So now all you have to do is snip, and you are good to go. Just like so. And there you have it. One tip with the knot is you'll want to trim the floral tag in there to as short as possible, but the braided end doesn't really quite matter as much. So here I'm going to try to cut it down very short. 
and the braid I'm going to leave it to about maybe an eighth of an inch. So like here you can see the braided tag in but you cannot see the floral or mono tag in. So this has been uh, producing very well for me just because uh, this knot does not get stuck up in your reel or the guides and uh, very fast, very efficient, very quick to tie. So give it a shot guys. All right guys, so just a quick video to show you how to connect uh, braid to floral or mono. Basically uh, keeping the sensitivity of uh, your braid, but also uh, keeping your lures a little bit more, uh, your line less invisible to the fish. And uh, especially nowadays with COVID, a lot of people are fishing and uh, seeing a lot of baits and also uh, experiencing a lot of pressure on the lakes and rivers. So just to give yourself uh, a one up, just use braid for the sensitivity and the no stretch, but then also tie the leader for the uh, fluorocarbon or mono, just to give yourself a little bit of an edge, but also still have the sensitivity, but uh, the fish won't be able to see your lures as well. So before I sign out, just wanna say uh, good luck to everyone and uh, be safe out there in God's country. Uh, give this knot a try. I think you guys will really like it. Uh, not as time consuming as the other knots and uh, very simple, but also very strong and very durable. I've used this for many years now and it's proven that it is uh, very strong and uh, very durable. So uh, check it out and uh, hopefully you guys like it too. Um, so the plan for the next few days is basically to prep. As you can see here, I have two rods out right here. I'm going to just um, gear up and get ready. I have a buddy coming in town, so we're going to fish a few days this week and uh, hopefully smash some bass this week and maybe get some crappie and walleyes. So um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, weather is going to be good for the next few days. Got a, a few days of rain, which we need for the lakes to come up. But then also uh, it's going to start slowly uh, warming up a bit, so that should help the bite. So anyways, uh, stick with us and more footage to come and uh we'll see you guys on the next episode thanks